invest much of our lives online. No. Uh, it's a rather scaredy cat way to look at things. So what if it's online? So what if it's on the phone? So what if it's on the street? It's life. And what we forget about the internet is that it actually, I think, makes life in some ways more intense and more social. You know, as I was testing search engines through the years, I would use, like other guys, uh, the friends of uh, my old girlfriend's names. And I would go through and search. My girlfriends, most of them didn't have any Google shadow. I have a long Google, Google shadow because I have a blog and a big ego. But one of my old girlfriends found me. Now, that could not have happened before Google. And we had conversations, and I apologize for being a bad guy in the old days, and, and that was a kind of a gift. But as I thought about this, I realized that living online with these constant connections could even change the nature of friendship. If I were 17 years old today and I was bad to my high school girlfriend, that's going to live with me because she's going to know where I am. I'm going to know where she is. I can't get away from her. And I almost wonder whether that changes the way I behave. Uh, the president of Google has said that perhaps we need to be, have a law that allows us to all change our names at age 21 so we can forget the past. But we won't be able to. So our pasts will stay with us. And I think that will make us better behaved. And when we're badly behaved, well, you know what? We have mutually assured humiliation because I have my drunk picture and you have your drunk picture and that's life. So what's the big deal? Uh, inhaling or not inhaling won't be so important in presidential campaigns as we go forward. So living online means we're living with people. It's a mistake to think that the internet is a medium. That's media people projecting their view of the world on the internet. The internet is not. It's a connection machine. Doc Searles, the blogger, says it's a place where we talk. So when you realize that the internet is really about connecting people with information and people with each other, it intensifies life. It's better to have it. I get to meet people around the world I never could have met. I get to stay in touch with old friends I couldn't have done. I get to do more business. I get to hear more ideas. The internet is a distilled life. It's a wonderful life. It's more efficient. I'm not, you know, worrying about what the programmer put on TV today. I'm choosing my own stuff. So living on the internet, I think, is living much better.